guys, this is Jackie, your nerdy crafter. Last week, I showed you guys how to make a miniature park. To follow up on that idea, I wanted to show you guys how to make your very own absolutely tiny playground. What I love about this playground is that everything can be used probably by really tiny berries. You have a swing, a seesaw, a slide, and a small little sandbox. Of course, it's up to you if you want to texture the grass, but I decided to do so because it makes it look even cuter. If you guys like to support self-made artists, my friend just started a Kickstarter for his new coloring book. I absolutely love the drawings in there. My favorite one is obviously the gamer. Just look at all these pretty boys and absolutely adorable animals. If you guys want to help support this coloring book to see the light of day, make sure you check out the Kickstarter. I will leave the link in the description box below, as well as in the iCard section. For those of you new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. There are plenty of geeky tutorials to keep you entertained. Equally, if you like this project, don't forget to leave a like. And if you want a shout out, wait until the end of the video and I'll tell you how. Here's what you'll need for this project. Brown, green, orange, yellow polymer clay. All these are from Sculpey. Red acrylic paint. Liquid Sculpey, some sand, some eye pins rounded pointy tool and a cutter, and optionally some UV resin. I got this one from Sophie and Toffee. The first thing we're going to do is the base. Flatten a piece of your brown clay then a thinner piece of green for the grass. For the swing, take a longer piece of wire and bend it. If you only have eye pins, put them together with UV resin for more durability. And then you're going to add the chain. I'm doing this on a silicone mold so it doesn't stick on it. Reinforce any time with more resin. Make a bench and pre-bake it for 10 minutes at 275 degrees Fahrenheit. Now paint the wires. And then you're going to put UV resin on the bench and put it onto the chains. Make the slide shape and use a slim tool to make the crevice. I used a piece of toothpick. Cut a rectangle for the seesaw. Place a piece of wire in the middle and bake it for 10 minutes at 275 degrees Fahrenheit. Once baked, the clay and metal won't stick to each other. Make the base. Start placing your pieces. Feel free to use liquid Sculpey so that they stick more firmly onto the grass. Cut out a piece for the sandbox and the crevice under the swing. Make the grass texture with a needle and tiny little swirls.
Now bake it for 25 minutes at 275 degrees Fahrenheit. Now you can add glue or resin and sand in all the right places. I want to tell you guys about Scroller Box. It's a monthly subscription box for art supplies. I love this box because I get to try pretty much new supplies for about 20 bucks a month. And I will post the links for this fun art supplies box in the description box below. This month's challenge is designing your own coloring page. So naturally, I wanted to make cats in space. I actually wanted something silly and lighthearted. So if you want this coloring page, I will leave a link in the description box below for you to download it. Make sure you hashtag nerdy coloring page on Instagram because I want to see how you guys color it in. I am not affiliated to scroller box, but I do enjoy sharing these monthly challenges because I love to draw. I will post my own coloring on my vlog channel and Instagram. I can't wait to see what you guys come up with. All done. Now, if you have a YouTube or a crafty business, the best way I can help you is by promoting your projects. So if you want to send me samples of your projects, feel free to do so in my PO box, which is in my about section. Please do not send me more than three items because it might take me forever to get to your package. Last time I did that, it took about eight months to go through all the packages I got. Of course, the sooner you send, the sooner you're on the first list. Make sure you put your links in there and a business card if you have one. This is a way for me to give back to you. My PO box is only open for a few months. So if you wanted that shout out, make sure you send me again, no more than three items. If you want to see past mail unboxings, I will leave them in a playlist in the description box below. The winner of this cute Kigurumi onesie is here. Make sure you send me an email with your information. If you want more information on these cute onesies, I will leave the information for Kigurumi in the description box below. And don't worry if you didn't win, I will have a partnership of giveaways with them. So there's still a chance. If you like onesie giveaways, make sure you leave a thumbs up. If you have suggestions for future geeky tutorials, leave them in the comment section below. And don't forget to add me on Instagram. I'm there quite a bit. Until then, I will see you guys next week.